So, yeah. so Robert, I'm curious. Um, like, so you guys, you know, obviously with the pulsar. Has anybody ever seen the pulsar in action? This is a pretty. It's a pretty impressive monitor. Obviously, it's very, very bright. Um, very hot, right? Very <laughs> warm, a lot of power. Um, you guys, you know, when I first saw that monitor, what was that a year, or two ago here in the UK, maybe? something like that? Um, I was really impressed by it. But like, how do you see? I mean, because you guys. I mean, sometimes make monitors, but more so it's the R and D kind of the research part. What do you see Dolby's role in kind of this idea of you know the monitor development right with this work? Uh, that's a great question. I appreciate you asking, Rob, because I think right now, um, and I think Rob would agree that uh, when it comes to uh, the whole concept of uh, HDR and white color gamut, uh, you know, workflow is one thing, but the central part of that workflow is the display system or the monitor. Uh, we're very comfortable now on the on the capture side. Uh, visual effects as well as, as acquisition on set, or that, that's done, right? We've got that figured out. Uh, but the display systems are the most difficult, and, and uh, you know, Dolby's activity in this this uh, in, in this market has always been as a laboratory, has been as a research laboratory, and taking that research and creating uh, the ability to license that out across not only the professional market where we play, but also the consumer market where you know our friends like. Uh, LG and Vizio and Samsung and TCL and Sony and Toshiba and all the others play, uh, or that matter, Amazon and Apple and, and <laughs> we're, we're a lot of contents being consumed now. So, uh, you know, on the professional side, I want to just reiterate something Brom said. I think it's really important that you not only, when you look at a monitor, you take a look at the specs. Um, don't ask, is this a HDR reference grade monitor? It means nothing when you ask that. And people can give you any answer they want to give you. Just look at the real specs. Um, I will say that you need to get an opportunity to measure those specs. I'm sure Joel will tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> he can help you. And Derek would love for you guys to know how to do all that as well. Don't let I'll him borrow the two ten thousand That's true. That's true. <laughs> but my, my point there is that. Um, a spec might say it's a thousand nits peak brightness, but that could be a thousand nits peak brightness at ten percent of the screen. Right, 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 right. And that means that if you've got a sunset setting in the in the background and you want to really use that dynamic range, it might not be there for you, but that's a large part of your image. So you really have to take a look at these things. And and, and I'm not trying to diss the, the man monitor manufacturers. There's a lot of different technologies. OLED is uh, has a difficult time holding up uh, the power necessary for a large part of the screen. Um, even LCD does it, it takes a significant amount of power. So there's a lot of different parameters here that you just have to look at. And if you look at what the UHD Alliance is, and I'm going to do another little backtrack. Here. Sure. It's okay. UHD Alliance is not a standards body. They're an alliance of manufacturers Maybe who are trying to make recommended suggest, suggest, sure. and, and branding uh, practices. Those branding practices. I mean, certain requirements that they put the brand exactly. on. Right, right. It, it, those branding practices and, and recommended practices could become standards by official standards bodies who follow international ICO, ISO, you know. right, 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 right. So there's this whole you know, documentation method and how you set standards, but that's not what the UHD Alliance is doing. However, then they're at the leading edge because the consumer environment is trying to put something together that the consumers can understand. We are trying to make sure we can fulfill the need for that environment, wherever that is. Okay, come on, let's box again. <laughs> so, so ask about the specs. Read the specs carefully. Try to measure them as best you can. Understand that the concept of a reference grade one monitor disappeared when the last CRT died in your facility. And don't ask for that anymore. <laughs> um, and so uh, just take a careful look. For, as far as Dolby goes, uh, just to, for those of you who have seen the Pulsar, great way you've been able to see it. The Pulsar is, a, is an experiment. It is right. a proof of concept device. We have made a few of those, um, and we put them in certain locations as directed by creatives. So creatives would say, look, I want to do this piece of content using that methodology. I'm going to go to this post house uh, or that post house. And we've decided where these things go based on the content creators telling us. And we move them around as the content creators move from place to place. If you need a home for one of them. There's another device we've de uh, developed that's nicknamed Maui. You may have seen Maui. There's a bunch of them out on the floor. We've built more of those. Uh, it is not 4K, it's HD. As right. Pulsar, Pulsar's not 4K, it's right. HD. A lot of people think it looks like 4K, but. Just because uh, of contrast, right? right? Contrast is resolution. Yep. And when you yep. have contrast, your mind perceives more resolution. Than Absolutely. Yep. 
Um, and so those devices, we are also doing the same with Pulsar. We are making those available to creative professionals in the market uh, on a loan basis uh, to do specific things, but as a proof of concept. Um, in general, we support the Sony X300 as kind of the uh, monitor available today for mastering. I think you, said you were using it, right? Yeah. We support that. Uh, you know, our, our Dolby Vision workflow is, is supportive of that, and we are putting a lot of people on that platform to do a high dynamic range uh, development. So um, monitors are the Achilles heel right now. Right. And um, it, 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 it's a problem from the viewpoint of how we scale it, right? Yeah. 